Welcome to the 10th tee. It's a par 5 dog leg right playing 486 yards from the white tees. You do have to hit over water and the bunker on the left side does come into play here. My second shot here on this par 5, I'm choosing a 3 wood to try and get down as close to the green as possible. My third shot here on the par 5, I have 55 yards choosing a sandwich, all bunkers in front do come into play here. I have a 3 foot putt for birdie here on number 10. That is a birdie on to hole number 11. The 11th hole is a par 4 straight away playing 373 yards from the white tees. You do have to hit over water and there's a big tree in the center of the fairway, left center of the fairway, up ahead. My second shot here at number 11, I have 135 yards, choosing a pitching wedge to fade it in there. I have a 27 foot putt for birdie here. Three foot left for par number 11. On to number 12. Pulls a par four dog leg right, playing 388 yards from the tee. You do have to hit over water here, and there are plenty of bunkers out there to get in trouble. Second shot here at number 12. I have 160 yards, choosing an eight iron. Bunker on the right side does come into play here. I ended up short right on the second shot. I have 13 yards, sand wedge. Take it up and down. I have a two foot putt left for par here. On to number 13. Thirteenth holes of par three, playing 125. I have a strong headwind. I'm hitting 10 yards, 135, using pitching wedge. I have a 36 foot putt for birdie here on number 13. We have the same situation on the back nine as we did on the front nine with these greens. They are beautiful. They're rolling so fast and they're rolling so true. I have four foot left for par on 13. On to home number 14. Fourteenth holes of par four straight away, playing 376 yards from the tees. The bunkers on the left side do come into play. The one you see on the right side is pretty far out there. This is the first tee box on the uh, golf course that there's a little bit of a problem here with the grass. Second shot here, I have 168 yards of the pin. I'm adding 10 more yards because of the wind. Six iron. I'm in the bunker on the right side of the green. I have 20 yards using a sandwich to try and get up and down here. I have a 17 foot putt left for par here.
up in Fabogie, on to hole number 15. The 15th hole is a par 5, lazy dog leg right, playing 467 yards from the white tees. The bunkers on the left side do come into play here. It is a rather generous fairway from right to left. I hit my tee shot way too far left over here. I have a blind shot on my second shot using a three wood to try and get down there for placement. My third shot on the par five, I have 117 yards using a gap wedge. Bunkers in right, left side do come into play here. I have a 15 foot putt for birdie here on number 15. I noticed on all the greens so far on this course, they're all elevated to a certain extent, anywhere from three to five to six feet. And it is a challenge to get up and down if you hit the shot to your approach short and you have to chip up and try and save par. One foot tap in for par, on to hole number 16. The 16th hole is a par 4, straight away playing 351 yards from the tee. The two bunkers on the left side come into play. On the right side there are many, many bunkers that come into play as well. My second shot here, I have 154 yards to the pin. I'm choosing a 9 iron. My second shot landed short left over here. I have 16 yards to chip up with a sandwich and try and get up and down the safe bar here. Oh, that one came close to dropping in. Tap in left for par on 16, on to hole number 17. The 17th hole is a par 3, playing 171 yards today, choosing a 7 iron. Bunkers on right and left side do come into play here. I have an 18 foot putt for birdie on number 17 here. I have a three foot putt left for par on 17. On to 18 and final hole. The 18th and final hole is a par four dog leg right playing 408 yards from the tees. The bunkers on the left side do come into play. I'm going to try and hit a fade around the corner here. Second shot here of 145 yards, choosing a 9-iron, the bunkers on the right side and the water on the right side does come into play here. I landed short left on my second shot, I have 12 yards to try and get up and down with the sandwich over here. I have a 4 foot bump left for bar here. That is a par on 18. Just remember guys, it's not always how well you play this game, but that you get out and play golf and enjoy the day. We truly hope you enjoyed watching the North Course here at Lake Trevita Golf and Country Club in Dade City, Florida. It's a Tampa Bay area. With that being said, we ask you to please like the video, please subscribe to our channel, and please put your comments down in the bottom, and we'll see you guys on the next golf course.